a pocket-friendly and extremely portable speaker from Portronix. The Bounce Will it sound as tiny as it looks or will it be worth checking out? Retailing for a very pocket-friendly price of 1,100 or sometimes even less, the bounce is made up of rubberized material and plastic grill. Now the rubberized material, I'm not a big fan, it's a dust and lint magnet and the color scheme reminds me of Porsche. Now the design looks exactly like a copy of an edifier speaker, now I don't know who made it first, Portronix or edifier. Moving on, the speaker is portable and extremely small with an attached lanyard for ease of portability. Now you do get the usual controls on the top, the power slash mode button and the indication light on one side of the speaker and you can find the charging port and the USB port on the other side. Now this is what I love about these budget speakers, they give you everything as much as they can. The Bounce has not only a USB port for pen drive connectivity but also has FM radio. Now to be honest, in my testing the FM reception was just okay. Now the one thing I hate and I will probably hate all my life is the volume control, it's a long press. Other than that, for the price, you get a decent build speaker with a plethora of connectivity options. I just wish it had some sort of splash or water resistance. Portronic speakers have mostly managed to impress me with their performance in the past. So how did the bounce perform? Check out the card above for a more brief sound test. Down the rabbit hole again And as I fall I can feel the pain You can tell me where to go So I don't know and just go with the flow Falling up, I'm falling down From the sky and from the ground A boom just lie below And I don't know where I should go So, there it is. The first impression is, wow! Is the sound coming from this tiny little speaker? The bounce performed as good as any small speaker. The sound was clear and crisp. The vocals also sounded pretty good. The bass is where you will get a shocking surprise, which I did not expect to say. It was really good. You can feel the bass if you hold it in your hand, which can be a good or bad thing. Now, of course, did not expect any earth shattering bass, but for its size, I was impressed. The speaker gets really loud considering its size and because of that it has some distortion at full volume and also dances around at full volume, sometimes even at lesser volume. Stick to around 70 or so and you should be good. Overall, I'm not just happy with the Portronix Bounce but I'm honestly shocked with the performance of the Portronix Bounce. In fact, I would say it's better than the Xiaomi Mi Pocket 2 that I recently reviewed. Now, you do get your typical Bluetooth range of most speakers with some occasional choppiness. Now, coming to the battery life, the only disappointing factor in my honest opinion. It lasted for a decent 6.5 hours at approximately 65% volume and took me around 2 hours to fully charge from dead. So, what is my conclusion? Well, if 1100 rupees is all you got and cannot afford to spend even a little bit more, then go for it. You will really be happy. But if you could skip your KFC meal once and save a little bit more, you will get way better options with way better performing speakers like the Porsche 2, HP 400 or if you're lucky enough to find a deal, even the Portronix Breeze. The Portronix Bounce is what it is. An extremely budget-friendly speaker that performs on a budget, sometimes with a kick of its own. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the review and thank you for watching. Check out the link in the description below the like button if you're interested in buying and also while you're there, hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. So would you guys buy the bounce or would you save up a little more and buy some better sounding speakers? Let me know in the comments below. My name is Adi and I'll see you guys in the next video.